Texas, how are you today? Man, we are excited to be here finally. I mean, this event, we've been trying to put it together. We have overcome so many obstacles, but wow, what timing. This is going to be a celebration here this week. Bassmaster Elite Series returns to beautiful Orange, Texas. Who's excited about that? I got a bunch of anglers backstage, and I'll be honest, if you started the Elite Series, you know, last year, and this was your, this is you, you've only been here for a year, or maybe you started this year, you guys are going to scare some anglers. They are not used to dealing with a crowd like this, so I want to give them a little taste of what Orange, Texas is. Let them hear you backstage. Get loud, Orange, Texas! This is the Dovetail Games of Bassmaster Elite, uh, the Sabine River, presented by Bass Fishing 2022, which is the official bass, bass game of bass, and it's going to be released this fall, I believe, just coming up in a few months, going to be released, or maybe this fall, we, we'll just pay attention to our social media, and maybe I should do the same and I'd be more informed. But ladies and gentlemen, we're going to weigh some fish here, but before we do that, we need to bring up our senior tournament manager, Get Loud for LT, Lisa Talmadge. I'll let Lisa set up the scales. You guys know how this deal works. Who's been who? Are, who's been to a Bassmaster weigh-in before? I knew you guys. Thank you very much for coming back. But for those of you who haven't, this is how the deal works. The entire field fishes the first two days. And then we cut it down, cut the field in half for day number three. Day number four, which will be championship Sunday, the top ten go out. We crown a champion here. They raise that trophy, win $100,000. This is the fourth stop of the season. And I got one question for you. Orange, Texas, are you ready? Uh, let's get ready to win. Our very first angler, a three-time Elite Series bridesmaid from Mississippi, Brock Mosley. Hot off a second place finish at our last event on Pickwick. Five fish made a big run. If you watch Bassmaster Live, you saw it all day long. Five fish, 15 pounds, 10 ounces. 15, 10, and Brock Mosley. Comes back here to the Sabine River with a big start. Hot off a second place finish at our last event. And backing it up in a big way here on day number one. 15-10, definitely going to keep him in this tournament. In a big, big way, a weight like that. And unofficially, you may think you're fishing this weekend. Going to weigh that for Phoenix Boats, a big bass, a title that... I believe you won the last time we were here. Five pounds, six ounces. So that is our Phoenix Boats Big Bass, and you're leading this tournament. And, man, you have had an incredible role going, but I know that uh, you will not be satisfied until that role finishes with you standing right over there holding a blue trophy over your head. And the good news is it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. And it. I just, everything's been going right, as good as it can on the water here lately. I mean, I, I had no idea I could catch that kind of weight today. I was going over there hoping to come back with eight or nine pounds, and, I, you know, I come back with that. So, uh, man, I've just been truly blessed here lately, and I'm pretty sure, like you said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to make the weekend already, so that takes the pressure off there. Um, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I, you know, I, I, it's, it's this place throws you a curveball every day. You just got to go out there and uh, figure them out that day, and, and you know try to catch them so that's all we can do tomorrow and uh shoot hope we can keep this going and keep catching another bag <laughs> half of that or even better <laughs> a great start to things congratulations and we look forward to seeing how it works out let's bring out an elite series champion from longview texas lee Livesey. lee Livesey took an elite series win on chickamauga last year five fish here today Another good day of fishing. 12 pounds, eight ounces, and Lee Livesey moves into second place. 12 pounds, eight ounces for Lee Livesey. 
owner of some of the coolest sponsors on tour, not only sponsored by Michelob Ultra, but Wayne in to Whiskey Myers and also sponsored by Whiskey Myers. Get loud for Lee Livesey. Twelve pounds, eight ounces, and uh, Lee, that is a great day here on the Sabine River. And uh, you know, unfortunately, Brock had to run in your parade and, and beat you to the tanks here. But I know you're happy with day number one. Yeah, I can't be any happier with that, man. I, I really wasn't on a lot. I knew I was going to catch some fish, but I didn't know uh, the size that was going to show up. And just really fortunate to get them and get them early and, and get back safe. And same for Brock, where Brock went is uh, is pretty crazy. So hopefully he catches them again and. Hopefully, you know, I, I, I only burned one spot today, so I got three or four areas tomorrow to run, and hopefully I can come in with another bag and show them off to y'all guys. Thanks for coming. Can't wait to see how it works out. Next up, a former Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Open Champion from Mount Carmel, Tennessee. Every day is doomsday for David Mullins. Free fish for David Mullins, and we come back to reality here. Three pounds, nine ounces, puts you in third place. And uh, this is one of those ones, Mullins, where you know it's it's not going to be easy. You're going to make me talk, aren't you? Uh, I, I, you don't have to talk. You can just tell me. I, I was going to walk off. But, yeah, uh, man, it's just tough. I mean, it, it's, uh, you know, on a place like this, they're going to catch a lot of four to seven-pound bags. And if you catch three, man, it's just hard to catch up. And I know that today. And I just didn't get any bites. And the bad thing is with four days of practice, you know, what, what areas you find, it, it gets found by everybody else, too. So, the, you know, the first place I roll into has got six boats. The next place I got to is four boats. And it just, by then, I'm like, you know, I'm toast. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, we uh, we scrambled around, caught us three. And maybe we'll catch 15 tomorrow. I don't know. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. A two-time Bassmaster winner from Newmarket, Minnesota, the amazing fighter man, Seth Fighter. Five fish for Seth Fighter, a limit of fish here on the Sabine River. Five all alive, nine pounds, 13 ounces. You move into third place and a decent start for day number one for Seth Fighter here once again as he continues his assault on our Angler of the Year leaderboard in a great spot inside our top three at the fourth stop of the Bassmaster Elite Series. The Dovetail Games Bassmaster Elite. So, Seth, a good start to things here on day number one. Yeah, that was like two pounds more than I thought I had, so I'm pretty excited about it. Question is, can it continue? Probably not. I, I Every day I'll be happy to get five. You know, I got lucky and three of them happened to be over two pounds today. So, those are big bites here. And uh, I'm just going to try to put another five in the boat and hopefully catch a two, three pounder and maybe get crazy and catch a four pounder. I don't know. Way to go. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. All right, Texas, get loud for one of your very own. He is a reigning and defending Elite Series Angler of the Year from Texas, Clark Wendland. Five fish for Clark Wendland here today. A limit, not a given here on this fishery. Seven pounds, 14 ounces. So a decent start to things in fourth place right now. I mean, probably doesn't seem as good with the few guys that weighed in ahead of you, but you know, I mean, a limit here every day is going to keep you in it. Yeah, I mean, I think eight pounds a day is going to be good um, when it's all said and done. So just got to go out, maybe execute just a little bit better tomorrow and, and hope they weigh a little bit more. Always great to have you here. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. A two-time Bassmaster winner, a seven-time FLW Tour winner from Florida, John Cox. <laughs> Left the last tournament looking like Ziggy Marley. Shows up here looking like Ralph Macchio, ladies and gentlemen. Five fish here today. Nine pounds, four ounces. Puts him in fourth place, so a good start to things, proving that he is more than just a fine mane of hair. John Cox can actually catch him no matter what hairstyle he is rocking here on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Get loud for John Cox. Oh my gosh, I, I'm, a, I'm so proud of those five today. I mean, 
uh, it, it was a struggle. I even got into the little spot I thought was going to really be really good and uh, only caught two there. So, but uh, man, I'm excited about tomorrow. Kind of, kind of learning a little bit each day about kind of what's going on with the tide. So. We're glad to see you got out of that spot. We were very concerned about you. Saw you in line, and you were concerned to get out. Any issues? Yeah, no, no, I got out. It, uh, the water didn't fall out as quick as I thought it did. But, uh, yeah, luckily we left there early. But uh, maybe we'll get to spend a little more time in there tomorrow. Always great to have you here. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, a Skeeter Yamaha pro from Dadeville, Alabama, Kelly J. One fish here today. One fish to start off this event for Kelly J. One pound, five ounces, puts him in seventh place. And uh, I mean, you knew this was going to be a tough one, but another shot at him again tomorrow. Yeah, you know, I caught, I can't even, I'm on, you got a ladder. You got a ladder I can talk. No, you're good. You're good. Uh, you got it. What's bad is I rode an hour and a half round trip for that one pound, five yeah. ounces. That's what really hurts. But uh, I caught several fish today. I just couldn't, I couldn't get a keeper. I mean, 11 and a half inch. And the ironic thing is when we fished here about four years ago when it was 14 inch limit, all I could catch was 13 inches in there. <laughs> so I thought, well, I can go there and get me a limit. <laughs> and that didn't happen. So I don't know. We're going to punt and see what happens tomorrow. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Always great to have you on the Elite Series. Texas, one of your very own. He is a two-time classic qualifier. Get loud for Brad Watley. Brad Watley with five fish here today. Five in the Sabine River, always the goal. Five pounds, 14 ounces, puts you in sixth place. And you got five fish, and that's, uh, that is the goal in this one. <laughs> Yeah, I got five that don't weigh six pounds, but um, I caught a ton of fish. I just uh, only had one good bite today and, and didn't put it in the boat. But, uh, you know, I mean, we're back in Texas. This is awesome. I love being here close to the house. And I uh, just got to go out tomorrow and try to catch, you know, a 10-pound sack and get back in it. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow and wish you luck. A six-time Toyota Series winner and a former Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Open winner from Maryland, Brian Schmidt. One fish here today. One pound, two ounces. Have you ever worked harder for a pound, two ounces in your life? You know, Dave, I, I have. And, and, you know, I really like fishing tidal water, man. I mean, that's what I grew up doing. I was kind of excited to get here. Just felt like you had to get away. You had to find something to yourself. I took a gamble today, kind of panicked and left. And, uh, you know, that's what I caught. Uh, my hat's off to the guys that caught them, and I'm going to try to make up as many points as I can tomorrow. Go get them. We'll see you back here tomorrow. The only Australian to ever win a Bassmaster Elite Series event. Fear my heart, Carl Jacobson. Shared a memory earlier this week. was cool to see. Kicked off his Elite Series career right here. Three fish here today. Six pounds, four ounces, moves into sixth place. And uh, three decent ones, six pounds, four ounces for Carl Jacobson here on day number one. And a kicker like that on the Sabine River goes a long, long way. Six, four, and uh, that fish a very welcome addition to the bag. Yeah, what's, uh, what's disappointing is that's the freak fish that's hard to catch if you can get that and then get a limit it sort of separates you and i caught that at about 10 o'clock and literally didn't catch another bass after i caught that fish but i'm three bass ahead of where i was in 2015 so i'm happy with that six pounds two ounces it's probably going to take 12 13 pounds so uh, i like it when it's struggle out here it's a it's a battle and uh and it's going to take everything i got to get inside that cut tomorrow i'm going to need to do that and better but uh Appreciate all the support. Thanks, guys, for coming out, and let's uh, get them tomorrow. For battling. You proved you never stopped battling. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. All the way from North Carolina, a former Elite Series Rookie of the Year, Jake Whitaker. Five fish for Jake Whitaker. Three-time classic qualifier with five fish for seven pounds and nine ounces. You move into sixth place inside the top 10.
In a lot of places, you wouldn't hold that one up, but I know you're pretty proud of it. Yeah, uh, gosh, Amadi, this uh, the Sabine is, is a little bit different than the first time around back in '18 when I uh, that was my first time here. So, uh, you know, this place is actually really special to me. This is the place where I uh, made my first top ten. Uh, so, man, I mean, I, I, I love I love this style of fishery. I love tough events. Um, and, and, you know, hopefully if we can, you know, scramble up and uh, catch a few more like that tomorrow, we'll make the day three cut. Love to see it. Keep it rolling. We'll see you back here tomorrow. I know you're going to get loud. A 32-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Four of those he has won from Ava, Missouri, the legendary Mr. Rick Clun. Five fish for Rick Clun here today. A great day, number one. Limit of fish here in the Sabine River, five pounds, nine ounces, puts him inside the top 10 in ninth place currently. Let's hear it for Rick Clum, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Our next angler is third year on tour from Spring Grove, Illinois, Chris Grove. Four fish for Chris Grow here today. Four fish for five pounds, 11 ounces. He moves into ninth place currently. And uh, anytime you get into, uh, you know, close to a limit here, you know you've done your job. Oh, I hear you, I hear you. I must have caught 20 11 inch bass. I'm sorry for your guys' jaws, they hurt. <laughs> but uh, no. I don't know, I got a pile of chigger craws, every new color that they came out with laying on the bottom of the boat, and I can only come up with four. But uh, tomorrow's gonna be a new day. I found a little something. I probably should have stayed there all day, and I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow so I can make some money. So, hi, Mom, hi, Chain Rats, hi, Woman, hi, Texas, rock and roll. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. A nine-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Gainesville, Florida, Bernie Schultz. One fish for Bernie here today. One pound, nine ounces, and uh, Bernie, never the goal to have one, but uh, you knew this was gonna be a tough one, uh, and, and you guys prepare for this mentally, I'm sure. Yeah, it's, I don't know what to say. I, I thought I was on some fish. I chose the wrong place. Cliff Prince and I practiced uh, areas together, trying to eliminate water real quick, and he made the right move, I made the wrong move, and. This is how it goes. So I'm gonna have to suffer through another day and hopefully find something. So thanks for coming, everybody. Always great to have you here, Bernie. Grab your fish. A Bass Pro Shops, a Bassmaster Open winner, a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Wisconsin. Oh, Bob Downey. Five fish for Bob Downey here today. A good day on the Sabine River for the fourth stop of the Bassmaster Elite Series. 10 pounds and an ounce, he moves into third place. A great day, number one. A limit of fish for 10 pounds and an ounce. And oh, Bob getting it done on day number one. That's not a bad day, number one, for the Sabine River, Bob. No, that was, uh, it was a good day. I was fortunate I got a couple good bites, and that's what it takes out here. And it's a fun place to fish. It reminds me a lot of back home fishing the river. I'm doing a lot of flipping and um, throwing a little finesse stuff, but mainly flipping out there. And, uh, you know, if I can keep that flipping stick in my hand all day, I'm a happy guy. So looking forward to getting back out there. Go get rigged and gassed up. We'll see you back here tomorrow. A three-time classic qualifier, the Prince of Palatka from Palatka, Florida, Cliff Prince. Five fish for Cliff Prince. Five fish for six pounds even, moves into ninth place, and uh, five will keep you in it for sure in this derby. Yeah, man, you know, I... I had a decent practice. I got bit everywhere I went, you know, just not many, and th their heads were too close to their tail. So. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow, and hopefully they have the right dimensions for you. A Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Derek Hudnall. Got to watch him on live today. 
four fish, one short of a limit. Five pounds even, puts him in 13th place currently. And uh, I know you're not focused on those ones. And unfortunately, you were on live today, so we relived some of those heartbreakers a bunch of times. You know, it's you have to execute if you want to do well in a tournament like this. And I had two big bites, and I just didn't execute on them. I mean, that's all you can do. Um, you know, sometimes it happens, and there's just nothing you can do about it. Um, but, you know, I, I, I made a gutsy move about mid-morning because my morning bite just didn't work today. And, and I knew there was some better fish in this area. I was just scared. I couldn't get enough bites. So I really didn't want to spend a whole lot of time there. And when I got there, you know, I had all my bites in a matter of about an hour, 45 minutes. The tide was perfect. It was pulling out. And there was some fish in there. And uh, I, I caught really the, the last 45 minutes of that bite. So hopefully I can catch some more of it tomorrow. I'm around the right size, what I'm doing right now. And a good thing about a tough tournament like this, it's, it's just one bite can change anything. You know, if I catch that fish tomorrow, then that can change anything. And you can make a big jump in this deal. But uh, bites are hard to come by, but they do live here. And, I mean, they, they absolutely live here. So, um, so let's go out and do it again tomorrow. Look forward to seeing how it works out for you. It was always fun to watch. From Lake Gaston, Virginia, six-time classic qualifier, Rick Morris. Three fish here today for Rick Morris. Remember the Bassmaster Millionaires Club's got three fish here on day number one. Five pounds of four ounces, puts them in 13th place. And uh, th does coming to the Savannah, I mean, you've been here before, so does that give you an advantage at all? or? Does it always change so much? Well, I thought I had a little advantage, but with four days of practice, these guys find everything. And, you know, fishing is a little tough, and the backwaters is the deal. The main river's not working. Of course, I went over the, to the Natchez, and, um, you know, I like to fish the main river more, and it's, if it was a little later, I could do that. But uh, I got in the backwaters, and uh, my first cast, I lost a three-pounder, and then I caught those other three. And I lost a prop blade on the way up there, so I had to get in the swamp and the mud and change out a prop. So always carry an extra prop. So, uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm going to catch them more tomorrow. I like this place. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Always great to have you here. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Let's bring out the 2002 Bassmaster Classic Champion from Oregon, Jay Ellis. A three-time angler of the year. One fish here today. One pound, two ounces, put you in 18th place currently, and uh, just happy to have that one, I imagine. Well, I was. I, I caught it with five minutes to go. Yeah, it was, a, it was a tough day for me, Dave. I ran my Skeeter Yamaha way up the Natchez River and had caught some decent fish there in practice, but, boy, today I could not get them to go at all. So I came all the way back down here and picked that one up. But tomorrow's another day. If the weather's a little different, maybe I can figure something out, and uh, we'll go have fun for sure. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Let's bring out the 2019 Elite Series Angler of the Year from Alabama, Scott Canterbury. A two-time FLW Tour winner and a two-time Classic qualifier, of course. Got us five fish here today for Scott Canterbury. Eight pounds, 10 ounces. He moves into sixth place currently with eight pounds, 10 ounces. For the 2019 Bassmaster Elite Series Angler of the Year from Alabama. Eight, 10, and I, I watched you on live today and you kind of you said, you know, shooting for seven pounds, eight pounds, just, it doesn't compute in your brain. You know, it's hard to go out and just fish for 12 inches, you know, and try to get a bite. But, uh, you know, I tried to catch big ones, and uh, he just didn't bite real good today. I did. I had a couple opportunities, missed opportunities. I tell you, this is a good crowd for an opening day. I mean, this is pretty awesome. Orange, this is awesome. These people really want bass fishermen here. They accept you and welcome you in. It's been great all week. The people, I appreciate y'all. Thanks for everybody. Thanks for the uh, sponsors. Couldn't do it without you. Can't wait to see the crowd on the weekend, and we hope you are part of it. From Lake Wiley, South Carolina, a five-time classic qualifier, Todd Otten. Five-time classic qualifier, six-time FLW Tour qualifier, bringing us three fish here today. 
three pounds eight ounces puts him in 17th place and uh it doesn't get any easier does it no it's i knew this was going to be a tough tournament and uh uh, this is usually what I like, real tough tournaments, but my gosh, uh, it's a little tougher than I expected. And, uh, you know, I did have probably the limit, the two fish on today to have a good limit, but uh, of course the biggest two always come off. But maybe tomorrow they'll bite a little better. It seemed like later in the day the bit better. And, um, you know, tomorrow got a longer day. Look forward to seeing how it works out for you, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Let's welcome an Elite Series rookie from Alabama, Josh Strachner. Josh Strachner with five fish here today. A great start to his young Elite Series career. Keep an eye on this young angler. Five fish here on day number one. Seven pounds, three ounces. He moves into ninth place with seven pounds, three ounces. So a decent start to things on day number one. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's not much, but I sure am proud to have it, I promise. Uh, I want to say hey to all my family and friends back home, and thanks, everybody, for coming out. you got a beautiful place here. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. And thank you on behalf of the fine people of Orange for the kind words. A Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Open winner from Tennessee, Skyler Hamilton. Five fish for Skyler Hamilton here today. Ten pounds even. He moves into fourth place currently. So a good day, number one, with ten pounds. And <laughs> a major reason why, right there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna weigh that for Phoenix Boats, a big bass. Not sure if that's gonna take the lead. Five six is currently the lead. Four pounds, ten ounces, but a good one. Gonna be happy with that fish right there. Uh, and happy with your day one start. Man, a fish like that, you know, it can make your whole tournament this week. And I, I got fortunate in 2018 to catch one like that and it pretty much bumped me up into the cut and stuff. So hopefully we can ride, ride it out a little bit and catch a limit tomorrow and uh, just keep on keeping on and catch a few more fish. We'll see you back here tomorrow. The 2019 Smith Lake Bassmaster Opens champion from Wisconsin, Caleb Kufal. Five fish for Caleb Kufal here today. Five fish for 13 pounds even. Get loud, Orange, 13 even, and he moves all the way to second place. Thirteen might be an unlucky number, but it is not unlucky here in this part of the world. Uh, on Sabine River, thirteen pounds is a darn good day. Yeah, for sure. It was uh, it, it was started off pretty tough, and then I got a few but a few lucky bites there uh, a little bit later on, and I, I'm happy with it. You know, hopefully I didn't waste them all today, and we can get them again tomorrow. See you back here tomorrow. Let's bring up a two-time FLW Tour winner, a two-time classic qualifier from Shelby, North Carolina, Matt Airy. Five fish here today, so a good start to things for Matt Airy. Here on the Sabine River, five all alive. Seven pounds, eight ounces, moves him into 11th place currently. And Matt, you gotta be pretty happy with the way things started here this week. Yeah, I can't complain. This is a this is a tough test of uh, one of the one of the toughest tests of any fishery I've ever been on. But it, it is very interesting. It's it, it's a lot of fun. It's very neat. Um, it's a little little tricky to navigate in certain places. But uh, we all found that out in practice. You saw a lot of pictures with shoes on the deck, but no person. You know, so everybody was getting their boat unstuck a lot. Um, ready to go out there tomorrow. I mean, a key here is a big bite or two. And, uh, you know, we got one two pound bite today. And, and I hate to say that's a pretty good one here. But, you know, hopefully we can get two or three of those tomorrow. Great start, keep it rolling. Let's bring out the only Canadian to ever win a or second one of only two Canadians to ever win an Elite Series event from Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, Chris Johnston. Sorry, Chris, Gussie screwed up your intro. <laughs> one, one. We can still do the first. The first, yes, that's right. Five fish here today for nine pounds, four ounces. Puts him in seventh place currently, so a good start to things. 
for one of three Canadians fishing the Bassmaster Elite Series and the first Canadian to win an Elite Series event. But 9-4, uh, going to be happy with that? Yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled with that. It was a tough week. Um, I was happy to get five bites, and uh, fortunately I got a couple decent ones today, and uh, hopefully duplicate it tomorrow, and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully be, on the week, be here on the weekend and see this crowd everyone talks about. It's going to be a lot of fun, I can guarantee you. It will be giant. From Grove City, PA, get loud for Destin Demarion. Destin Demarion with five fish here today. Six pounds, two ounces. You move into 15th place currently with six pounds, two ounces. So a decent start to things anytime you get a limit here. Yeah, you know, catching a limit here is definitely not easy, so I am happy. I even called, believe it or not, on the six-pound bag. I had one that called, like, maybe that much. But, you know, tomorrow, anything could happen. Really, it just takes one big bite with, you know, a limit like that. So hopefully we can get that tomorrow. But I just want to thank everybody. It's been really nice this week. Uh, the hospitality has been great around here. So thank you, guys. Thank you. For Denver, North Carolina, get loud for Rob Dye. Two fish for Rob Dye here on day number one. Two fish for two pounds, 15 ounces, moves them into 24th place. And uh, you know, those two fish gonna be valuable fish in a derby like this. Yeah, it could be, you know, just a tough day. I, I caught seven or eight fish and they were all short. And uh, it was just a tough day. And I'm gonna put my head down tomorrow. You never know what's gonna happen in fishing. And uh, I'm gonna go catch them tomorrow, Dave. That's all I can say, buddy. Go get rigged and ready, and we'll see you back here tomorrow from Breckenridge, Texas. Get loud for one of your very own Texas, Randy Sullivan. Five fish for Randy Sullivan here today. So being in his home state worked out pretty good for him here today. Five on day number one. Eight pounds, three ounces, moves him into the top ten, rounding out the top ten in tenth place. So good start for day number one. Yeah, it's not bad. I, I had a case of thinking the grass was greener on the other side today, so I left bigger fish to catch baby fish. And eh, you don't ever want to do that out here, but uh, I feel good going into it tomorrow. I feel like, you know, if I grind it out, I get I got to get those big bites. There's a pretty good one in there. And if I can do that, you know, maybe I can make something happen. Keep it rolling. We'll look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. A two-time Bassmaster winner from San Jose, California, the Zal Dangerous one, Chris Zaldane. Now makes his home, of course, in Fort Worth, Texas. Five fish here today. Six pounds, four ounces, moves him into 15th place currently. And uh, Zaldane, rumor has it you made a long run. Is the rumor true? Yeah, I'll, I'll take a limit. Uh, you know, I uh, made a, about a two-hour run out west there, and I thought I was all alone. I didn't have anyone around me when I was running that intercoastal. And, and uh, when I get to my spot, I turn the corner, and you know, one of our guys is pulled down and uh, ended up being our, our, our leader, Brock Mosley. So I had to go around the corner and scrap those out. But I shook all those fish off yesterday, and I was, like, so ready to catch them. Two-hour drive, and, and that happened. So... Um, we got to go home, regroup. Um, whether we make that run tomorrow, I don't know. It's supposed to blow pretty bad, but uh, I think I'm going to end up sending it anyways. Always great See to you. have you here. We look forward to seeing how it works out. He took the title the last time we were here. A six-time Bassmaster winner from Gonzales, Louisiana, the Hack Attack, Greg Hackney. Greg Hackney with five fish here today. Eight pounds, three ounces. He moves into 10th place currently with eight, three. And uh, I know, Hack, I, I hate to bring it up, but it's kind of my job. But yeah. there was one today that could have made a giant difference. Yeah, you know, I had a, uh, I had just a slow day overall compared to the way the practice had been. And uh, but the day I did, I got the right bite, you know, that would have definitely, I uh, would have helped me, you know, maybe five pounds. But, uh, you know, that happens in fishing. Um, 
Funny thing about that was I thought it keyed me in on a deal, you know, but it didn't. <laughs> It'll still stay tough the rest of the day, but, uh, you know, the good thing is it'll keep me in the hunt, you know, so I got a chance. You always got a chance. We look forward to seeing how it works out for you this time around. Let's bring up our reigning and defending Bassmaster Classic champion, Hank Sherry. Three-time Bassmaster winner and obviously the reigning Bassmaster Classic champion. Ten pounds and nine ounces. Puts him in fourth place. So a good day number one, Come Hank. Going to hold up a couple of them fish, or one of them fish at least, whatever he chooses. That just looks like a regular fish, a nice one, but it comes with a story, I hear. So, uh... I had to call Lisa this morning. I was really hoping for the other answer she gave me. But anyhow, I caught that fish this morning. And I'm reeling it in. I'm like, what is wrong with this thing? And it's just coming, and I'm seeing two tails. I got the picture. I'm going to post it on my social media a little later. So I reel this thing in, and it's got this much of another fish sticking out of its throat. It's got like a, I actually weighed it for Bowman. It was almost a three-quarter pound mullet. That little guy ate. That much sticking out and ate my bait. So I put it in there. I was like, God, just stay in there the whole time. Ounce is just stay. It came out, so I called Lisa. She told me what I had to do. We had to, I, had, I had to discard the carcass out of the live well, so I lost about half a pound, three-quarter. But, hey, uh, it was a fun day. I caught a lot of fish. Didn't catch any big ones, but I caught enough. Tomorrow, if I can do the same thing, we'll be sitting pretty going in the weekend. Looking forward to seeing Thank that you works guys. out. Great start. A Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Michigan, Garrett Paquette. Two fish for Garrett Paquette here today. Two pounds, seven ounces, puts you in 29th place. And uh, tomorrow going to be a rally day for a bunch of anglers. But in a tight tournament like this, one bite can change things. Yeah, definitely. You know, as sad as that weight is, I'm actually pretty proud of how my day went. I made a lot of good decisions, and I hooked the four biggest fish I have since I've been here and, and lost every single one of them. So that stings bad on a place that's this tough, um, but I know I'm in the right areas, and it, it's, you know, I go out and catch 11, 12 pounds tomorrow and make the top 50, so that's the goal. See you back here tomorrow, all the way from Millville, New Jersey, GDP, Greg De Palma. Five fish for Greg De Palma here today. Five fish for six pounds, 14 ounces. So that'll put you inside the top 20 in 17th place currently. And you keep catching the limit. You're going to be around here for a while. Yeah, I'm going to try. Today was kind of a weird day. I don't know if it was where I was because the tide wasn't really going out. So the fish kind of really didn't bite too good. So hopefully tomorrow it changes out a little bit and do a little better. Forward to seeing how it works out. We'll see you back here tomorrow. His first season on the Bassmaster Elite Series from Osaka, Japan, Kenta Kamira. One fish for Kenta Kamira here today. One fish for one pound even. Puts you in 35th place. Yeah. So. Uh, I got a lot of fish, but this is the only keeper I could have got, so I got to do completely different tomorrow. Look, look, wish you luck tomorrow, and uh, I know you'll figure them out. So we'll see you back here tomorrow from one of our Japanese anglers to another. Get loud for Takumi Ito. Takumi Ito with five fish here today. Five fish for nine pounds, two ounces, and in 10th place currently, Takumi Ito with nine two. Here on day number one with the Dovetail Games Bassmaster Elite, sponsored by Bass Fishing 2022, the official game of bass. So a good day on day yeah, number one. Yeah, I, so I like Sabine because so a pretty tough and uh, so fish is uh, not so big, so like a Japanese, Japanese fishing lake, so fishing river, so maybe it's good for me. 
It fishes like Japanese yeah, River. Yeah, 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 yeah. It worked out pretty good on day number one, so keep it going. Yeah, thank you very Let's much. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Hear that, Stevie, right? Let's bring up a three-time Elite Series champion from Auburn, Alabama, Steve Kennedy. Steve Kennedy, hot off a top 10 at our last event. Five fish here today. Six pounds, 13 ounces, moves inside the top 20 in 19th place. And uh, Steve, you've, you've won a lot of tournaments, done really well in this sport. Do you like these tougher events, or, or do you care as long as you, they, like, the finish is good? I like the free for alls. <laughs> I like throwing big baits. I like catching big fish. So this is tough for me. But uh, but no, I picked up a little bait and uh, got a bunch of bites. It's just it's it's hard. It's really hard. But proud of them. <laughs> proud to have you here, and look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. A seven-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Reed Springs, Missouri, Chad Morgan-Taylor. A two-time Bassmaster winner. Bringing us one fish here today. One fish on day number one for one pound, 11 ounces, and another shot at him again tomorrow, Chad. You know, it is what it is. Um, I had a... Uh... I just had a rough time at practice, and I just never was able to dial in on anything. And then the bites that I'm getting eight or ten bites a day, but they're all they're either line burners or they're smaller. I changed completely up today. So you know the, the good thing about these events is if you if you get if you if you can make it all click, then you can make up a ton of ground. So we'll see what happens. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. The 2019 Bass Nation National Champion from Oregon, Cody Holland. One for Cody Holland here today. Was it fun to catch that one, Cody? Yeah, I had an eventful day. We'll just put it that way. One fish for one pound, five ounces, puts you in 35th place, and you get another crack at him again tomorrow. Yeah, you know, it's it was tough. Practice was tough. Um, I had one day of practice, I got five keeper bites, and I went back in there and I stayed there all day long. Um, I didn't lose any fish, I fished clean, and um, I saw three other keepers, but they just, they wouldn't go. So uh, it's a day full of issues. I wasted about an hour today helping tow somebody back that ran out of gas, and then uh, I had a battery issue, one of my batteries shut down, so I had to disconnect them all, get them to wake back up so that I could fish on my trolling motor. But we'll put our head down tomorrow and hopefully we can grind out five. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. From Raceland, Louisiana, Tyler Rivet. <laughs> Tyler Rivet with five fish here today and the loudest cheering section in bass fishing history. And they're about to get a lot louder. Five fish, 10 pounds, and nine ounces. And for the second tournament in a row, Tyler Rivette inside the top 10 in fourth place currently. The walk-on pros getting it done on day number one. Tyler Rivette representing walk-ons with pride here, a big day number one. I'll take it. It's uh, I was going into the day hoping for seven, eight pounds, and I'd have, I'd have been pumped to have that. And to start off with a three pounder and a two and a half, I was, I didn't know what to do. So I just went and finished a limit, and uh, hopefully, I, I really don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I caught a few keepers that I called, and Catch fish! and uh, it's a good, it's a great tip. It is. I think I'll be on the water catching fish, and uh, I mean, if I wish you'd have the the right jersey on, you know, but uh. <laughs> Well, I know where he went to eat at. He went to eat at walk-ons, that's for sure. So uh, if y'all want to go, y'all go eat at walk-ons. I'll probably go tonight. I want to thank my family, grandma and grandpa back there. Y'all awesome. This family, too. Trevor. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to get them tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he ate his lunch. I'm pretty sure he might have drank his lunch. But who cares? Make noise in either way. All the way from Japan originally now makes us hope in Texas, a two-time classic qualifier, Yusuke Miyasaki. Yusuke with five fish here today.
five fish, eight pounds, 10 ounces, moves himself into 12th place currently with a 10, so a good day for Yusuke Miyasaki. Yusuke, day number one worked out uh, pretty good for you. Gotta be happy? Yeah, I'm uh, happy, you know. I, almost, you know, I'm a perfect today, you know, everywhere, you know, I catch fish, but just, uh, you know, one nice one. I don't know, some rope is, you know, hanging there, I swing there. Then rope was stuck in there, then bass was, you know, came off. Was in the rope? Yeah, I don't know what, something rope was coming up, but that's only one, you know, I missed today, so everything perfect except that one. So hopefully, you know, I catch tomorrow too. All right, we yeah. look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Let's hear it for Yusuke, a seven time FLW Tour winner from Clewiston, Florida, Scott Martin. Scott Martin, his first season here on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Five fish here today on day number one. Seven pounds, four ounces, puts him in 19th place inside the top 20 as we near the halfway point of the day number one weigh-in here at the Dovetail Games. A Bassmaster Elite on the Sabine River, sponsored by Bass Fishing 2022, the official video game of bass. And you might just be the poster boy of it, Scott. That's, that's a, it's a pretty cool deal. It's uh, We're excited about the Dovetail Bass Master Fishing 2022. It's going to be an awesome game. It's coming out soon. You know, we, uh, we launched one game last year, but this is like a whole new revamp. We've been working on it. Obviously, you guys, Bass Masters, the title of the whole thing. It's going to be a lot of fun. So... I uh, can't wait for you guys all to play that. But today, today went okay. You know, it was one of those things that I caught a limit pretty quick. And then I thought, you know, I've got a little cushion. I'm, I'm going to make a little bit of a gamble. I made a long, long run and, and just never really cold up after that. So I'll probably stick closer to home tomorrow. But, you know, I got to, here's a tip, right? When you fish Sabine, a lot of small fish. But you, it's all mindset, right? So in my mind, I'm like a one-pounder is a four-pounder. And a two-pounder is like an eight-pounder. So today, when, when I was catching like a pound and a halfer, I'm screaming and yelling. I'm running all over the boat. It makes it more fun. If you just go dink, 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 yeah, it's kind of boring. So I just lie to myself all day long, and in my mind, I've got like 28 pounds, even though I only weighed seven. Yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> it's just like playing that video game. Exactly like the video game. <laughs> Thank you. Gentlemen, let's hear it for Scott Martin. A two-time classic qualifier from Colgate, Oklahoma, Luke Palmer. Five fish for Luke Palmer. Five fish here on day number one, nine pounds and an ounce, puts him in 12th place. So another good start for Luke Palmer here on the Bassmaster Elite Series. So five fish and, and five decent ones for this body of water. So you gotta be happy with day number one, Luke. You know, I've never been so proud of nine pounds in my life. You know, it it was a struggle today. I pulled in an area and just had to go fish, and there's a bunch of boats like there is in most areas, it seems like. And I just got very fortunate and got a couple of the right bites, and I did lose one or two that might have bumped me up a little bit, but can't worry about those because it's over with now. But we're going to swing on tomorrow and uh, maybe see what happens. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Great day number one. Let's bring out a former Carhartt College Bass Champion from Monroe, Louisiana, Brett Pruitt. Five fish here today for Brett Pruitt. Good start to things. Love to see Brett all the way around till Sunday. 8-7 here on day number one, puts him in 15th place. So a good start towards that goal of making it to championship Sunday. Gotta be happy with day one. Yeah, we're, we're very satisfied with day one. Uh, they could have got even better. I had a good one on, but hopefully they're still there where I left them. I was had one little area I'm saving. Hopefully they're there tomorrow and uh, nobody else found it. it. was almost got stuck on the way out of there, so hopefully it won't get too shallow to get in there tomorrow. Well, wish you luck, and we look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Don't eat too many crawfish tonight. Help you get into that spot tomorrow. From Alabama, an Elite Series rookie, Justin Hamner. Five fish for Justin Hamner here on date number one. 
44 anglers into our way in. So we near the halfway point at day number one. Five fish for Justin Hamner, eight pounds and an ounce. Puts him in 18th place currently. So gotta be happy with your day number one performance. I can't complain. I mean, this place is fun to fish. I know there's not a whole lot of big fish, but it's a fun place to fish. Got a ton of fish in it and they, they bite where they like to throw. So hopefully we can find some of those bigger bites tomorrow. Go get them. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. The 2017 Bass Nation and National Champion, Caleb Summerall. Five fish here today. And five good ones by the looks of things. Caleb Summerall off to a great start. Five fish on day number one, nine pounds, 11 ounces inside the top 10 in ninth place currently. Prepared for this tournament by can doing a race, a four by four by 48. That is four miles every four hours for 48 hours. That's what he did the day before leaving to come to this <laughs> event. And the very first video I saw you when you got here, you were pushing your boat off a stump, but all that training and preparing seems to have worked out for you. Man, when I come to a grinder tournament, it's just as much as physical as it is mental. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know if I did it particularly to, to prepare for this event, but it's helping me. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm happy. I feel good. I feel great. I'm liking what I'm doing. I like the Sabine River. It's fishing the tough, but it's fishing like I like it. It's just like home. Working out good. Great to have you here. Keep it going. Let's bring out our reigning Elite Series Rookie of the Year from Minnesota, the Sleepy Assassin, Austin Felix. Four fish for Austin Felix here on day number one. Four pounds, five ounces, puts him in 36th place currently, but uh, good news about a tough tournament like this is one bite can get you back in it as well. Yeah, it's gonna be stacked up tight. It, it's just a day I'd rather forget. Everything kind of went off the rail for me and then I brought in five fish and only brought one, four to the scale, so you know what that means. But uh, yeah, I guess we're just gonna go from scratch tomorrow. Obviously what I got going isn't going, so new day. Nice thing about it is with a tidal fishery and this kind of deal, everything changes every day, so who knows. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Let's bring out the reigning and defending Bass Nation national champion from Wisconsin, Pat Schlopper. Pat Schlopper with five fish here today. Seven pounds, 13 ounces. He moves into 21st place currently and uh, a decent start to things, Pat. Yeah, I had a fun day. I caught a lot of fish, a lot of keepers. Um, just only got that for weight, I guess. I had one other really good fish I lost. But uh, other than that, I don't know, it was fun. I like fishing down here. It's a lot like the Mississippi River, but the fish just aren't as big, I guess. Well, you're catching the right ones so far, so we look forward to seeing you back here. Let's bring out a Bassmaster Century Club member, an Elite Series champion, and our leader in Angler of the Year race from South Carolina, Patrick Woo! Walters. Man, let's get this crowd fired up. Come on now. Who's gonna eat some crawfish tonight? I know I am. Five fish for Patrick Walters. Eight pounds, nine ounces, puts him in 16th place. Eight, nine, sitting in 16th place. And as I said, came into this event leading angler of the year. And that's got to be a pretty cool feeling to look at that list and see your name at the very top. Yeah, what too bad, you know, but we're, we're focusing on one day at a time. Just worrying about fishing right now, how it shakes up at the end of the season is how it's going to shake up. So uh, I went for a gamble today. I tried not to play it safe. Uh, ended up with eight pounds. It's not too bad. Didn't lose it today, but excited to go fishing tomorrow and see what, uh, see what we can stumble across. Go get them. We'll see you back here tomorrow. A two-time classic qualifier, a former Opens champion from Kentucky, Matt Robertson. Five fish for Matt Robertson.
five fish, 10 pounds, 11 ounces, and he moves into fourth place. Matt, so a good day number one, sitting in fourth place with 10 pounds, 11 ounces in his first season here on the Bassmaster Elite Series. That's like Sesame Street. One of these things is not like the other one. One of these things. Sorry. I mean, they're both nice, but one was bigger. I about stuck the one and the other one smiled. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I don't even know how I caught that today. This place has been fishing pretty brutal. Got a few bites in the area. Went up there. Worked my wojo. Just had a little fun, man. Caught some mud fish. That was fun. I mean, I don't know. Well, what is wojo? Uh... Yeah, I'm not. I can't tell that, Dave. It's uh. You can't even tell there, me. There, what there's four people in the world that know, and it ain't coming out right now. Well, you're not allowed you, to say it on stage if you, you don't tell us what it means. You could be insulting a whole nation that we're not even aware but, of. Oh no, y'all seen Austin Powers, right? He had his mojo. This is more like redneck version. Uh, just some wojo, you know. Yeah. So mojo with gravy. Oh yeah, we're just uh, we're gonna go out there and work uh, work our mojo. Hopefully, put a little more gravy on it tomorrow, and uh, hopefully, be fishing Saturday. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. One of only two Canadians to win a Bassmaster Elite Series event, the great Canadian snow leopard, Gussie Jeff Gustafson. Three fish here today, Gussie. Four pounds, 10 ounces, puts you in 39th place. And uh, man, this is, you knew this was gonna be a tough one coming into it. Yeah, I got a bad streak going. That's three three derby days in a row, no limit. Uh, yeah, tough tough one for me. I missed a couple, saw a couple uh, that I couldn't catch and just, you know, one of those days, but weather's nice. Uh, went for a long boat ride, so not no so complaints. Bad. No, Not so bad. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. From Alabama, the Forest Wood Cup champion from 2019, Clint Davis. Five fish here today for Clint Davis. Five fish for five pounds, six ounces. Put you in 37th place, and uh, I know you worked hard for that 5-6 today. I, you know, I did. I just never got a good bite today. Uh, hopefully, we can get a couple tomorrow and go fishing Saturday. It's really, really, it's a lot of fun out here. You're not catching any big fish, but, you know, there's a lot of those things swimming around. So, yeah, looking forward to it tomorrow. Looking forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Here's one of my favorites, a former Bassmaster Classic qualifier and a Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Open winner from Florida, Kobe Krieger. Five fish for Kobe Krieger, hot off a top 10 at our last event and looking to keep that momentum rolling in a big way. Seven pounds, 10 ounces, puts him in 24th place. And uh, a good day number one, Kobe, so you gotta be happy with that. Yeah, the, the way my day started, I sort of went backwards because I put my boat in the water and then I had to take it back out of the water. And thank God of the service crews over there, they all jumped on my boat, whether the Yamaha guy, Merker guy, Hummingbird guy, had a wiring issue up front, it was my own fault. Um, so I took off about 30 minutes late. You know, I had a, a tobacco of a day, but it ended up being okay. And uh, tomorrow, hopefully things go a little smoother in the morning and we come up with a, a few more pounds. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. A seven-time classic qualifier, three-time U.S. Open champion from Payson, Arizona, Clifford Perch. The Golden Ram has one fish here today. Two pounds, 10 ounces. So if you're gonna catch one, that is a pretty good one for the Sabine River. Yeah, they, uh, they're either nine inches where I'm at or they're really big. And uh, I, I lost the biggest fish I've ever seen on the Sabine this morning, about 8.30, and uh, and I measured like 20 of them that just didn't keep. It was a pretty rough day, and, you know, I don't even know. <laughs> I, I just can't believe it. It was uh, it was just uh, really surprising. So got a big hole I got to dig out of, and uh, it is what it is. 
Another shot to get tomorrow. We'll look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow from Gonzales, Louisiana, Robbie Latuso. Robbie Latuso, two fish. Saw him on Bassmaster Live today. Catch an incredible buzzbait fish early in the day. Two fish here on day number one. Two fish for five pounds, 10 ounces. Puts him in 37th place. And we'll have a look at that fish he caught on a buzzbait earlier today. You saw it on Bass Live and that's the kind you want. So Robbie, that was an incredible eat on Bass Live. A lot of fun for the viewers to watch, but uh, I know you were hoping to get five to go with it. Yeah, it was pretty miserable out there for me. I was struggling, and uh, I actually found that fish in practice. I missed him, and uh, I came back through a different bait on it. Came up, just ate that buzz bait first cast. So, let's go out there tomorrow and catch a couple like that and get back in it. Four pounds nine ounces for that big one. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. A former Elite Series Rookie of the Year won that title back in 2012 from Carryville, Tennessee, Brandon Card. A limit of fish for Brandon Card. Four-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Five fish here on day number one, seven pounds, 11 ounces. Puts him in 24th place and a good start to the Dovetail Games Bassmaster Elite at the Sabine River, sponsored by Bass Fishing 2022. The official game of Bassmaster, and you caught a spotted bass there. Yeah, actually, I caught a limited spotted bass. So I, I don't know. I mean, I went through an area in practice and caught largemouth, and then the spotted bass show up today. Um, you know, lost a couple in there, just lots of fish. I mean, it was a fun day. Uh, just never got any big bites. This week, I put so many miles on my Suzuki. It's unbelievable. I've ran all over the place, just trying to find that needle in the haystack area. Um, so hopefully tomorrow, we'll be able to catch some big ones. Great start to things. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Let's bring up an Elite Series champion and a former Elite Series Rookie of the Year from Georgia, Drew Benton. Five fish for Drew Benton here today. Looks like a good start to things here on day number one. Seven pounds, four ounces, puts him in 28th place and a good start. So gotta be happy, you know, that this fishery, I mean, the, the weight standard's a little different, but the paycheck is exactly the same. <laughs> That's right, somebody's gotta go win it. And uh, I, I believe Greg caught like seven, five the last day. So you're not out of it by no means. If you catch a bag like that, it's just, you got to get that big bite, and I struggled to get that today. I just never had it on, and you know, I'll just I'll chunk a, a Nichols Lures buzz bait till my arm falls off tomorrow after I catch a limit, and uh, try to get that big bite and, and see what happens. But before we get too far, I have to wish my wife a happy birthday. Today's her birthday. I'm on the road for the next three weeks, so love you, babe. I, I hope you had a great day. Happy birthday, and always great to have you here. From Richmond, Virginia, Edward Lochran the third. Five fish today for the Barrister. A good start to things. The Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Richmond, Virginia. Five all alive. Five pounds even puts them in 43rd place. So uh, five for five. So not always the goal on a body of water, but man, there's a lot of guys back there that would love to trade in one, their one fish for, for five fish limit. No, that is true. I am happy that I caught five, but uh, that I'd be surprised if someone could catch a smaller limit than that. So uh, it, it was a struggle today. Haven't had a lot of big bites in practice, one three pounder, and that was it. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow, but I need to make a change. Look forward to seeing how it all works out for you. We'll see you back here tomorrow. From Del Rio, Texas, give me a little love for Ray Hanselman Jr. Five fish here today for Ray Hanselman Jr. Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Five fish for seven pounds and nine ounces, moves him into 27th place. So keep waiting in five for seven, nine. You're gonna stick around here for a few days for sure. Yeah. It, it's great, great to be back in Texas, you know. I, I, I really like this fishery. You know, it, it's all relative. You know, we're, we're catching what we can. And, uh, 
it, you know, you get a lot of bites and you catch a lot of fish. It's fun. Um, you know, you catch redfish, flounder, all kinds of wild stuff. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool fishery. You know, everything looks fishy. And, uh, I mean, you can run a long way or, or you can stay close. But uh, I want to, all y'all guys out there and gals that run in Yamahas, you might check out that Yamaha, Yamaha uh, Power Pay program, you know, it, it, for those tournaments that you can get incentive money, you know, added to your, your payday. Y'all have a good one. A great program. We'll all check it out. A two-time classic qualifier from Newcomerstown, Ohio, Hunter Shryock. Five fish here today. You got to see them all day long on Bass Live. Five alive. Here today on day number one, Hunter Shryock, six pounds, 13 ounces. Puts them in 33rd place. And Hunter, we were talking on live. You seem to have a good track record in these kind of tougher events. I mean, tougher event is one of those ones you kind of put your head down and it seems to work out well for you. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I, I salvaged today, I feel like. And, you know, these tough events are all about making good decisions and capitalizing on those very few opportunities. You know, you catch a lot of fish here. Fisheries, I mean, it's well. It's just, you know, you run into some shorter fish and stuff like that. Um, you know, just capitalizing on that bigger bite. I didn't have it today, but uh, I feel like all of us have that opportunity between the first two days that if we can capitalize on that big bite, then uh, it's going to put us in a good position. So hopefully we get it out there tomorrow, make some good decisions, run that tide, and see what happens. Good start. Keep it rolling. A three-time Bassmaster winner, a six-time Classic qualifier from Paducah, Kentucky, Mark Menendez. Mark Menendez with five fish here today. Five pounds, 12 ounces. He moves into 40th place currently. And uh, Mark, you've, you've done well in, in tough tournaments. You've done well in, in swing fest. Which do you prefer? Oh, Dave, I don't know. I'm so numb from fishing. Uh, <laughs> I really don't know. Um, just, just, you know, I like grinders. I've always done well in grinders, and we've got us a good old-fashioned one here. But I'd like to say thank you to the people of Orange. It was 2015, and my wife had just passed away, and this was my first tournament back. And I want to thank each and every one of you all that helped me get across the parking lot in the mornings by kind words and saying, go get a mark. I'll never forget that. Seven years later, we're moving on. Life's good. We got five in the bag, Dave. We're going to go catch some more. And um, the pending nuptials are October 23rd. You'll be getting your uh, um, in invitation. So uh, a beautiful woman named Miss Melissa. So life's good. Keep your chin up. Keep moving forward and, and never give up. I can't wait and I uh, couldn't be proud of you. Let's hear it for Mark Menendez, ladies and gentlemen. And keep the noise going for a five-time Bassmaster Elite Series winner, a former Elite Series Angler of the Year, a former Bass Nation National Champion from Rathrum, Idaho, the prodigy Brandon Polinick. You got to stop winning stuff or I got to get in better shape, <laughs> one or the other, I'm not sure which, but five fish here today. Seven pounds, seven ounces, and he moves into 29th place currently. So a good start to things, Brandon. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to get bumped up about seven pounds. Uh, I just I didn't have a lot of bites today. I was actually getting my better bites on a high tide, and we had that, you know, the high winds the last couple of days, and I think that helped my practice. And then today there was like, zero high tide we just fished low tide all day which normally on a tidal fishery is exactly what you want and today i just i got lucky i caught a two and a half pounder that helped me out a lot and uh i don't know what i'm gonna do tomorrow i got two places i can catch a bass and they're about an hour and 15 minutes apart from each other so i'm gonna have to do some thinking <laughs> i look forward to seeing how it works out for you tomorrow let's hear it for brandon polnick ladies and gentlemen from one Elite Series champion to another, our next angler from Georgia, Micah Frazier. Micah Frazier took a win up in Waddington, New York. Had three fish here today in Orange, Texas for the fourth stop of the Bassmaster Elite Series. Three pounds even puts you in 53rd place. And uh, what's the plan for tomorrow, Micah? 
do something different, I guess, man. I don't, I don't know. I never found them this week in uh, the area. I thought I could go get a few bites. I, uh, I got a few bites, but they were all little tinies, and uh, I don't know. I may just put the trolling motor down somewhere else and go fishing. Look forward to see how it works out for you. Always great to have you here. His second season on the Elite Series from Springville, Alabama, the little ball of hate, Wes Logan. Five fish for Wes Logan here today. Always the goal here in the Sabine River. Five fish for seven pounds, 12 ounces. Puts him in 24th place. Fairly deep into the way. And so a good day number one for Wes Logan. 7-12 and sitting in 24th place. 65 anglers into our way. And so... A decent start to things, but, man, you came here knowing it wasn't going to be given to you this time around. No, no, and I just didn't fish good today. I don't know what was wrong with me. I missed a lot of fish this morning, and then it kind of got in my head, and I kind of tried to get it back on track this afternoon. But, I mean, maybe I can fish better tomorrow, but I've got to give a shout-out. My awesome, amazing, wonderful girlfriend's birthday is today, and I'm not home, so whenever I get home, I'll be there. But, I mean, I wouldn't be here doing all this without her. She does all a lot of stuff that nobody sees behind the scenes. So I want to tell her happy birthday. Thank you, and I love you. Happy birthday, and we'll catch some bass for her tomorrow. Let's bring a two-time Elite Series champion from Aiken, South Carolina, the Tower of Power, J. Will, Jason Williamson. J. Willie with five fish here today. Five fish for eight pounds and nine ounces and inside the top 20 in 17th place. Took the blue otter polarized wrapped a Phoenix Mercury out today and went to work. Eight, nine, a decent start to things. Got to be happy with that. Yeah, that's probably the happiest I've ever been for eight pounds, nine ounces. But uh, it was a grind today. You know, I could just kept my head down. I kept fishing. The Lord blessed me with a you know, three and three quarters right at the end of the day. So uh, just looking forward to getting back out there. This place has got a lot of fish. You know, it's just difficult to find the good ones. So uh, they live here. We're going to go catch them tomorrow. Go get it done. We'll see you back here tomorrow. One of the most feared names in professional bass fishing, a five-time Bassmaster winner from Park Hill, Oklahoma, Jason Christie. Five fish for Jason Christie and a good day, number one. Watch the scales, needs 15-11 to take the lead. Five all alive, 15 pounds and an ounce. 15-1, and Jason Christie rockets into second place. Currently here on day number one, just 10 ounces short of the overall lead. And for the second tournament in a row, an Express Pro at the top of the leaderboard or fighting for the top spot in the leaderboard. So you gotta be happy with that, Jason. I'm very happy that express it paid off today. I had, you know, I was fortunate enough the last day of practice to find two areas that had some fish in it, and and I really didn't think that they were, they were that big, and I just, you know, they what what I thought was keepers turned into good ones. So uh, hopefully I can do it again tomorrow. Love to see it, and I know these guys would love to see it. Let's hear it for him as he makes his way off the stage. From one Elite Series champion to another, the 2019 Winya Bay Elite Series champion from Benton, Arkansas, Stetson Blaylock. Stetson Blaylock with five fish here today. Five fish for 10 pounds, three ounces, and you move into eighth place currently. And Stetson, another angler who has a great track record in these tough grinder type events. Stetson, I say things and sometimes they're not real, but they're officially unofficial, but I said that and I do feel like off the top of my head, I think in some of these tougher events, obviously you won win Yon Bay, but some of these tougher events, they seem to set up well for you. Why is that? Well, I, usually they do. This place has tricked me. I've, uh, I've only fished one other tournament here, but I've been here two or three times and I've never ever figured it out. Today, I just figured I'd better find an area and hunker down in it, and that's what I did, and, and got the right bites. I think that's part of the deal here is there's fish in a lot of these areas, but you go through them and catch a bunch of small ones. Today, I just got a couple of the right ones. So, you know, I, I feel like it's you, you can do it again. You could do bigger bag. I mean, heck, Christy had 15 pounds. That's pretty solid for this place. But, 
You know, as tough as it is, there's a few biting. So I'm looking forward to getting back out there and uh, at least trying to see if I can put together another good bag. That's that's more than I thought I had, and, and it's doing better than I thought it would do. So I'm happy with it. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Keep it rolling. A three-time TTBC champion, a two-time Elite Series champion from Huntington, Texas, Keith Combs. Keith Combs with three fish here today. Four pounds, 11 ounces, puts him in 53rd place currently. So a little tougher day, number one, but man, you come to Sabine River, you know it's not gonna be easy, even if you win this event. No, it's it's always a challenge, Dave, uh, no, no doubt about it. I mean, some guys make it look easy, and I had my opportunities today, and I lost one really good fish that's, that's gonna hurt, and uh, you know, that's, that's just part of it occasionally fishing like in the junk that we have here but i caught a good one today and lost a good one in one area so i know i'm around the right ones to make a you know some kind of a comeback and it, it shouldn't take much so i'm excited about that but yeah it changed so much from practice you know you just got to get everything right with the with the tide and stuff and it's just a lot of guesswork but uh like i said i'm around some good ones so maybe tomorrow we can get make a little rally go get them we'll look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow a former Bass Nation national champion, a two-time Elite Series champion from Connecticut, Paul Mueller. Paul Mueller with five fish here today. Just doing this job until his son takes my job in two years' time, I believe, is the plan. He'll be seven then, and he says he'll be qualified by that point. Four pounds, two ounces, and uh, Tough day today, but the good news is that son I speak of will be there to hug you, and that makes everything feel a lot better. Yeah, for sure. You know, today was a weird day. Um, you know, I did. I, I felt like I did all right, but I was two minutes late. Somehow my clock was wrong on on, uh, on the front there. Huh. Two pounds there, and uh, I had a couple fish that must. I must have got some salt water in my uh, in my live well, so I had a couple fish that went on me and. Uh, Lost some weight there. So it is what it is. I'm going to forget about it. I'm going to have to catch them good tomorrow. But uh, it's a fun place to fish, you know. I mean, I, I, I did what I had to do today. I just have to do a little bit more tomorrow. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. A two-time Elite Series champion from Newport, New York, Jamie the Hammer Hartman. Three fish here today for Jamie Hartman, our 70th angler to weigh in here today. On day number one, the fourth stop of the Bassmaster Elite Series. Three pounds, four ounces, puts you in 59th place and uh, probably makes you just angry enough to really go get them tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's what it does. Dave, I'm going to have to ask you to leave out the hammer for now, okay? No, no more hammer? No. Oh, no, because okay. uh, I'm not having any fun. This, you know, I'm just no I'm struggling, man. So when, when I get back on track, I'll let you keep calling me the hammer. But okay. for right now... I can't, I can't just do nothing, man. Somebody invited everybody else to the party, and I can't go. All right. I'm just not having any fun. Do you want me to replace it with something or just, no, just not nothing? Yet. Just... Not yet. We'll hold off and wait. I'll leave the awkward pause, though. I'll be like, Jamie yeah. <laughs> Hartman. <laughs> Is that okay? That's fine. That's okay. fine. All right. <laughs> Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Jamie Hartman. From North Carolina, Elite Series rookie, KJ Queen. Five fish here today for Jamie, or for KJ Queen. 11 pounds of five ounces, a good day today. Maybe it's KJ the Hammer Queen, I don't know. 11 pounds of five ounces for this Young Elite Series rookie was the 2019 Collegiate Team of the Year and now fishing his first season here on the Bassmaster Elite Series and uh, working out pretty good for you. Yeah, Dave, uh, you, today went well. Uh, you know, that big fish, I worked on her for about two hours. I lost her twice, actually, and ended up catching her at the end of the day. She was on the bed, had her in the mouth and everything, and, uh, you know, that definitely anchored my weight big time no doubt but uh you know i'm gonna go back out tomorrow and fish some new water and hopefully i can get five five fish and we'll see how it goes let's hear it for him ladies and gentlemen a great start a two-time classic qualifier the baby shark from north carolina shane lehue 
Five fish for Shane LeHue here on day number one. Five pounds and an ounce puts him in 52nd place. So uh, a limit of fish going to keep you in it, but uh, man, this is not an easy one, is it? No, it was a struggle for me. You know, the thing about this place is if you catch a three or four pounder and, you know, one other decent one, you're up there in the 10 pound range. And then if you do what I did, you're down there in the 80s. So we got to make up some ground tomorrow. Hopefully, you get a couple big bites and we'll go regroup and try again. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Our next angler, it's actually his birthday. So I need you to get extra loud for the birthday boy from Okeechobee, Florida, Kyle Monty. Happy birthday, Kyle. Let's hope the birthday bass were nice to him. Five fish here on day number one. Seven one puts him in 38th place inside the top 50. So a decent day today. I'm let him hold one of those up. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's a birthday bass from the Sabine River. Yeah, that's how my day started out right there. Like second flip of the morning. So I'm thinking it might it might happen. The last time I got to fish a tournament on my birthday was on Okeechobee. I think we weighed in 32 pounds. So I was <laughs> thinking, you know, if I could get 20 here, I'd be okay to fish the third day. But, you know, I'll take five right now as tough as it is. This is a great place for the fans because you're going to see every amount of pressure that comes from this sport put on us right here on this place. It's going to test us from, from the start to finish, you know. Uh, for us, you know, we're, we're completed. It's tough, but at the end of the day, it's our job to catch fish. So tomorrow we got to go out, catch five more, and hopefully get a couple more birthday bass. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the birthday cake tonight. Let's bring out a six-time classic qualifier from Tennessee, the always lethal Brandon Lester. Five fish for Brandon Lester. Five for six pounds, eight ounces, puts you in 42nd place. And uh, I, I know that's never the goal, but man, when you look at the leaderboard, you, you'll know you did your job today. I did, you know, it, it started out kind of slow actually this morning. I finally started catching a few. I, you know, the, the key is gonna be to weigh in a limit every day and get maybe a two and a half or three pounder, I think you'll make the cut. And then if you get two or three, two and a half or three pounders, then you'll be sticking around even more. So that's the goal tomorrow. We'll go back out and try to make good decisions and, and hope for a big bite. We'll see what happens. Go get them. We'll see you back here tomorrow. From Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, a four-time Canadian Open champion, Corey Johnston. Once again, inside the top 10 in our Angler of the Year race. Seems to be a perennial Angler of the Year race top tenner. Five fish here today for seven pounds, 15 ounces. Put you in 26th place and uh, did your job here today uh, on a tough fishery. Yeah, it was, uh, I had a rough practice. So uh, my goal was to go out and catch eight pounds today and came pretty close to that. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna go out there tomorrow and you just gotta luck into one of these one or two of these big ones out here, and uh, we'll see what happens. Keep it rolling. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. A Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Open winner from Bella Vista, Arkansas, Harvey Horn. <laughs> Harvey Horn with a limit of fish. Five fish for Harvey Horn here on day number one. Seven pounds, five ounces, puts him in 36th place. Thirty-sixth place for Harvey Horn. Seventy-six anglers into our weigh-in. Top half of the field get to fish on day number three. And you keep catching them like that, Harvey. You'll be sticking around with us till Saturday at least. You know, we we uh, ran a long ways in that Express X21 this morning. Got down there. I caught my first fish at like 8:30. Turned around to come out, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna fish this stretch before I leave. And I caught two back to back. And I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna stay here for a while. Sharing the water, but uh, that's no big deal. We're going to just work it out the best we can and see if we can make it to Sunday. Awesome. Keep it rolling. Great day number one. Let's bring out the 2019 Elite Series of Rookie of the Year, a two-time classic qualifier from Georgia, Drew Cook. Five fish here today for Drew Cook.
nine pounds, 15 ounces. It moves into 12th place and a great start for Drew Cook. And I feel you're going to win this tournament because, I mean, you caught him. You have an incredible track record, but the problem is day number one is usually the tough day. You adjust and blow their doors off. Well, you caught him on day one, so look out the rest of the week. Yeah, you know, today I kind of messed up, and, and I thought with the win that we had yesterday, it was going to keep the tie up. Um, so I started close and then made my run. Uh, and I shouldn't have done that. I really should have just run over there and fished it how it was. But it's my dad's birthday, and he told me all he wanted for his birthday was to catch double digits on the first day, and I was one ounce short. So uh, hopefully I can make up for it tomorrow and catch him about 12, 13 pounds and move back up. But uh, we're going to swing hard just in case they throw a fastball at us. I'm sure you did him proud. You do him proud all the time. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. A former TTBC champion, a seven-time classic qualifier from Reed Springs, Missouri, the snowman, Brian Snowden. Five fish for Brian Snowden here today. Eight pounds, 12 ounces, <laughs> puts him in 19th place. So a good start to things. I mean, never yeah. the target weight in most tournaments, but man, you're sitting in the right spot. Yeah, it was uh, after practice. I really didn't expect to see all these people waiting in line with their fish. You know, it's it's been a grind <laughs> out there. So I was uh, pleasantly surprised and just got fortunate and made a couple right moves with the tide today and uh, caught some late. So uh, hopefully I'll figure that out sooner tomorrow. Always great to have you here. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Let's bring out a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Corbin, Kentucky, Mike Huff. Five fish for Mike Huff here today. Seems every one of our Elite Series, Young Elite Series pros has one drunk relative. Six pounds, two ounces today. I don't know if he's drunk, just maybe very vocal. Where is that dude? Right? It's the same dude. It's the same drunk relative. <laughs> he just he didn't even change his shirt. But, I mean, that, it's good that he cheers for you. Oh, yeah. I think that's Tyler Vett's dad, isn't it? <laughs> good day and, uh, and a great cheering section. That's right. It was, a, it was a good day. I caught several, just could not get a big bite. But hopefully I get a, a couple two, three-pound bites tomorrow. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Let's hot up a top 10 at our last event, a four-time classic qualifier from Holt, Michigan, Chad Pipkins. One fish here today for Chad Pipkins. Taking it easy on Lisa, not making her work too hard. One pound, one ounce, puts you in 79th yeah. place, and uh, it's a start. Doesn't matter how you start, it's all about where you finish. It is. Not not the start I was hoping for. I had a pretty good practice, but uh, the conditions change, and I didn't change with them. But it's a fun place to fish, and I'm looking forward to getting out there tomorrow because I know this place is going to be packed. So thank you guys for coming out. We're going to have some fun tomorrow and see if we can get back in the game. Qualified for the Elite Series not once but twice from North Carolina, Shane Leinberger. Five fish for Shane Leinberger, and as the song says, it is time to play the game. Huh. Five fish today, four pounds, 10 ounces. Who <laughs> went in five for five? I, I believe um, Ed Lochran said that his five would not be beaten, but you did defeat and beat him with 410. You know, everybody talks about personal best. That is my personal best for the smallest five bass limit I've ever weighed. Congratulations. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a dubious honor, you know. It's kind of not worth doing. But anyway, I, man, I, I ran those lithium pros as hard as I could run them today, tried to track me down a couple big ones that never had them happen, so we're going to try it tomorrow. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Let's bring up our leader in the Rookie of the Year race. An Elite Series champion took the title at our very first event from North Carolina, Brian New. Four fish for Brian New. Took that win on the St. John's River at our his first Elite Series event and our first event of the season. Four fish here today. Four pounds, 10 ounces, puts you in 64th place and qualifies you for another giant comeback on Sunday that will be epic. 
I, I have been known as a comeback guy sometimes. But let me tell you what, like, I've been pretty down all day. Practice was terrible. Nothing's been fun. But you know what? They saw a couple bass out there. You guys called them. And, and my wife sent me a text earlier, and I just looked at it. And it's a, a devotion that she got today. And, and I've been discouraged all day. <clears throat> but I just read this, and it said, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid and do not be, be discouraged. I'm not discouraged anymore. About 30 minutes ago I was, but you know what? Um, you know, I can go out and catch seven, eight, ten pounds. I mean, heck, somebody caught 15, so I guess there is a three-pounder that lives in here. I just don't know how to catch it. <laughs> but I'm going to go work hard tomorrow, and, and hopefully it happens. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. The 2012 PAA Angler of the Year from Winchester, Tennessee, Mr. Phoenix Boats, Garrett Klaus. It's refish for Gary Klaus here today. Three fish here on day number one, four, four, puts him in 67th place. And uh, this one, uh, you knew this one was gonna be a tough one. Yeah, you know, I had an opportunity to do a little bit better. I, I, I didn't, I, fit, I didn't fish good at all today. Didn't execute well. I should have had five. They wouldn't have been big, but I, should, I could have had a couple more pounds on top of that probably. But I just fished bad, and I'll just go out there and suck it up and try to do better tomorrow. Go get them tomorrow. Everyone fishes the first two days. Get yourself into day number three. An elite series champion from Temple, Texas, Frank the Tank Tally. Frank Tally with five fish here today. There is no way that dude's going to have a voice come Sunday. It's my professional opinion. Where are you at? There you five are. Five fish today. Five fish for six pounds, nine ounces. And uh, I do appreciate As much as I joke, I appreciate it. And uh, I know you appreciate that those five fish here today. Yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah. I'll just take them. If we can do it tomorrow, I'll be okay. So that's where we're going to leave it at. Uh, thanks, Orange, for coming out. Great crowd today. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Hot of a win at our last event from Brookville, Indiana, Elite Series champion, Dollar Bill Lowen. Pod fish for Bill Lowen here on day number one. Looks like another good start. Seven pounds, two ounces. Puts him inside the top 50 in 42nd place. Seven pounds, two ounces, Bill. And uh, the last time we were on this stage, uh, you were holding that blue trophy. And man, I, I, I don't want to talk to you about the accomplishment. I want to talk to you about the reaction of the fishing community. I mean, the amount of people and the excitement around it, I mean, that had to make you feel incredible just because that spoke of the person that you are. You know, I knew it would be crazy when or if we ever did win. And I'll be honest with you, I was overwhelmed at the support and the fans and just it just kept coming and coming and coming. And I, I had no idea that I guess there was that many people watching what I was doing and that had my back. And. You know, I haven't had an opportunity to thank them, and I'd like to thank each and every one of them right now for sticking with me for so many years, um, so many close calls. Uh, like I said, it was overwhelming. Still feels like a dream. Um, you just you can't put it into words. But like I said, I want to thank each and every one of them. I want to thank everyone that makes it possible for me to be up here, my family, my support crew. I want to thank everybody out here in the crowd for coming to every one of our events. And, uh, yeah, i got to figure out how to catch some big ones here. And... Um, you know, seven pounds, you think, oh, I just got seven pounds, but that's a pretty good bag here. So uh, hopefully we can go out again tomorrow and catch them a little better. Well, your fish might not be big, but this check is very big uh, in size. That is $2,000 Phoenix Boats Big Bass Award from our last event. Let's hear it for him. Okay. But there's a... a a person with a replica. That's, that's clap, people. Clap. Yeah. 
<laughs> so. What I, is happening, Bill? I, well, it looks like I got a replica of the 8.5 that I caught. This is one of my buddies that we duck hunt with all winter in Arkansas. Clint, I can't thank you enough, buddy, for doing this, driving it down here. Um, y'all trying to make me cry, and I ain't going to do it this time. <laughs> We'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you, Clint. How cool is that? Hold it up and let's get a picture of them Amazing. side by side, ladies and gentlemen. Dollar Bill Low and that, the Phoenix Boats a Big Bass from her last event. I don't know whether I'm more impressed with the replicas here or that he turned it around that quick, ladies and gentlemen. I've been waiting for replicas for years. Are you kidding? There's a lot. No, wrong bag. The other bag, sir. There you go. Good at replicas, but not good at this part. Thank you, guys, and an incredible job. Congratulations. From Salem, Virginia, an Elite Series champion, the cruise missile, John Cruz. John Cruz with five fish here today, weighing in with the Autism Awareness Face Shield. I want to thank him for all the incredible work he does for that. Nine pounds, two ounces. Puts him in 17th place, so a good start to things for John Cruz once again here on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Nine two, John. So a uh, a decent start, especially in the Sabine River. Definitely, definitely. Um, I just I don't know if this place fits my style, or I just get lucky. I don't know what the what the deal is, but um, you know I got that got that one bigger bite that really helped elevate me. Uh, it, I mean it, it's a total grind out there, but uh, luckily I was able to to get a couple decent ones that helped out a lot. But you know April is Autism Awareness Month, and there are a lot of people touched by autism awareness, and this year. We're going to talk more about awareness, and we're going to try to get more people to tell their story either online uh, on, or up here on stage or on social media, wherever they can, wherever they can talk about it. We want, to, we want to hear more people talking about autism and how it affects everybody. We're not going to do the big campaign for trying to generate as much money uh, this year as in past, but we will do some things that generate money that we're going to donate to charities. Uh, so just wanted to make everybody aware of that, and that's why I still had the, uh, the mask on, the autism awareness mask on when I took the pictures, uh, so more people will see that and know, uh, and know and think about autism awareness. Thank you for the incredible job you do. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. A true champion both on and off the water. His second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series from Alabama, Kyle Welcher. Five fish for Kyle Welcher, a second place finish in our Rookie of the Year race last year. Five here today, five all alive, 10 pounds, two ounces in double digits and puts him in 10th place as we wind down our day number one weigh-in. And that fish right there, a major reason. 10-2, double digits is downright dirty in this body of water. Yeah, you know, that, that's actually about two pounds more than I thought I had, you know. So, I, it really, whenever you're fishing a place that's this tough, catching a fish like that, I mean, that thing had to be four pounds if I had ten pounds. So, catching a fish like that just kind of makes your week here. So, hopefully tomorrow we can go put five together, maybe get another big bite and slide in, try to make the top ten. So, I feel like I'm around some fish. A lot of people that are around me caught some really quality ones today. So, maybe I'll give you two of those and move on up. Great start. Keep it rolling. Let's bring out a nine-time classic qualifier, a former TTBC champion from Asheville, Alabama, Matt Heron. Five fish for Matt Heron here on day number one. A good start to things once again here this week. For one of the newest members of the Bassmaster Millionaires Club, nine pounds, three ounces, puts him inside the top 20 in 18th place currently. Nine pounds, three ounces, sitting inside the top 20 in 18th place, so a good day, number one. You know, I was really fortunate. I caught that three-pounder late, and it uh, it's a struggle. I mean, it's literally like a crap shoot every day you go out here trying to figure out where to be on what tide, and it's, you know, I'm just an old river fisherman, so I like that part, but to try to navigate this place and figure out the tides is, is something else. Maybe I'll, uh, I'm in an area that's got quite a few good fish. Just need to get a couple of bites 
bring it together, see where we can go tomorrow. Always great to have you here. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow from one great Alabama angler to another. A two-time Elite Series Angler of the Year from Gunnersville, Alabama, the incomparable G-Man, Gerald Swindle. What's up, Marsha? What's up? That's uh, some main style hogs right there, Lisa. Five fists for Swindle, six pounds, 11 ounces. Puts you in 50th place right there. That's, that's hammering them down, ain't it, son? I mean, it's there's many that would trade, I might imagine. Hey. This place right here, I've never considered day drinking. I practiced four days on the Sabine River. I just called my wife. I said, is that legal in Hawaii? Because we need to move. This place will make you scratch your head. It, it's a lot of water, a lot of dead water. It kind of just blows your mind to fish and fish and fish and finally catch a fish. You think you found him and come to find out he's the only fish that's ever been in there in his whole life. You like won the lottery. I caught a bass that asked me to carry him out somewhere and practice. He'd been trapped without a girlfriend for like six years. <laughs> Felt sorry for him. I mean, it's... Place is pretty tough. The guys caught him, so I got a battle back tomorrow. Uh, the difference is a man catch a two or three pounder, catch him a small limit tomorrow, and catch a two or three pounder, he he'll be able to get a ten thousand dollar check. You've set a. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. You've said a lot of things in this stage, and I've believed them all up until that first line that you've never considered day drinking. I call bull crap on that. <laughs> I don't know. About day three of practice, I was like, whew, what have I done? I felt like I'd lost a bet, went to jail in Jackson, Mississippi with about eight people in there with me. One of them state pen, too. Everybody in there for murder. I'm looking around going, I didn't, I didn't do nothing wrong. That's the reign of Jesus. I'm like, what did I do, good Lord? Just give me one bass, and I'll go about my business. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there's only one, Gerald Swindle. Let's hear it for him. Let's keep the Alabama love going for our next tackler from Alabama, a former Forest Wood Cup champion, Justin Atkins. Justin Atkins with five fish here today. Took a win in the Bass Pro Shops Bass Master Opens, and it's the 2017 Forest Wood Cup champion. Five fish here today on day number one. Nine pounds, 11 ounces, puts you in 15th place. And after a tough event close to home, a good day number one here for Justin Atkins. And redemption feels sweet here on day number one. How messed up are the fish gods? I mean, you, you go from your home fishery that you chomping at the bit, it goes wrong, then you come here, probably a tournament that you were concerned about from the day you found out about it, and you're catching them. Yeah, 100%. It's, uh, like you said, it's so messed up. Um, I drove a cameraman around the last day at Pickwick, and like we go from one person to the next in the top 10. I'm like, I fished there the day I caught one. I fished there the day I caught one. And it just, it's like that. I mean, it's fishing. It ebbs and flows. Um, you better let it roll off your back or you'll stay tore up about it because the very next one you can, you know, you can make great or you can let it keep bothering you. So I just chose to, you know, let it go um, and come here. I grew up on a river in Mississippi. It fishes kind of like this other than the tidal part of it. But I was looking forward to just do some different fishing, get, uh, get back to pitching down the bank and um, worked out good. I mean, I've gotten a lot of bites in practice. Um, big one today kind of saved me. I thought I may get a few more good bites, but... I, I'm obviously fishing around some good fish, so we're just going to keep at them. Go get them again tomorrow. Love to see you here all the way through to Sunday. His first season here on the Bassmaster Elite Series from Georgia, Mark Frazier. <laughs> Five fish for Mark here today. Looks like a good start to day number one. Five fish. Day number one, 12 pounds, two ounces. A good start indeed. Puts him in fifth place with 12 pounds, two ounces here on day number one. The Dovetail Games Bassmaster Elite. And that fin freak of nature right there is a major reason why. Needs to be better than five pounds, six ounces to take over Phoenix Boats Big Bass. A spot that Brock Mosley has held since the first angler to weigh in. Looks to be better than five, six, six pounds, six ounces. A brand new Phoenix Boats, a big bass leader. And Mark Frazier in a six, six is a absolute giant on this body of water. Yeah, uh, in practice, I didn't catch one over two pounds. So when I set the hook on that, man, I thought it was a mud fish. And it was like five foot from the boat. I went straight for the boat. And when I, I'm telling you, it hit the side of my boat <laughs> and I went to pulling and it sat, I felt like forever. 
when it sat on the side of my rail. And But luckily I got in a boat and I was able to fill my lemon out. And I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. Uh, that really helped me, obviously. But I don't know. I'd like to thank my wife and her family coming out. Um, they're from Louisiana, so not too far. Uh, yeah, there they are. <laughs> but all right, thank you all for coming. Thank you, and congrats on a great day number one. The 2018 Bass Nation National Champion from California, Randy Pearson. Randy Pearson with five fish here today as we wind down our day number one weigh-in. Just a few anglers left to go, but this party is just getting started, ladies and gentlemen. Six pounds of five ounces puts him in 55th place, going to give him an opportunity to hold a fish. Entertainment here every single night. Orange, Texas, make sure to support this event. We are just getting started. Day number one here, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun as we make our way into the weekend. Yeah, no, that's the happiest I've been for a <laughs> six-pound, five-ounce weight. A um, lot of things changed for me today, and I had one bait that I thought I could catch, you know, 10 keepers or so maybe, and I got one bite on it today, so being able to come up with a limit, I felt pretty good with that, and... You know, I had one good bite and got that one in, and just tomorrow, at least I'm not out of it. Still still got a shot, and uh, we're going to go give him a heck tomorrow and see what happens. We'll get it done. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Our next angler from Louisiana, Quentin Capo. Quentin Capo with five fish here today. Good start to things. Anytime you get a limit on this body of water, his third season on the Bassmaster Elite Series, six pounds, 10 ounces, just outside the top 50 and 53rd place. But, I mean, you got five fish, keep that rolling, and you should hopefully make the cut tomorrow. Yeah, I've got a, uh, I got a good feeling about tomorrow. I'm around a lot of fish, and I caught a lot of keepers today. They're just all the same size, never got that big bite. So I'm, I'm waiting for a little weather change maybe and try to shake some things and get a big in the boat. Go get them. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. A two-time Elite Series champion from Greenwood, South Carolina, the C-O-double-B, Brandon Cobb. Five fish for Brandon Cobb here today. Looks like a good start to things. 11 pounds, 14 ounces, and Brandon Cobb moves into sixth place. Eleven fourteen, sitting in sixth place, and a good day for Coach Cobb. Is it? Well, you became a coach. I did. I did. I, I guess I technically haven't started because I've been in Texas ever since that was announced. But yeah, I'm uh, taking over, helping out. I'm not necessarily coach, but I'm helping out with the Lander University bass fishing team back home. So it'd be a pretty cool thing. I, at least when I'm home, we travel so much doing this. But uh, that's why there'll be a full time coach in addition. But we try to build the program up. If you're looking for a college to come fish at, Lander University is going to have the premier program, hopefully, in the next few years. Very cool. <laughs> awesome to hear that. And a great day, number one. From one Elite Series champion to another from Chickamauga, Georgia, Buddy Gross. Buddy Gross took a win at the 2020 Lake Eufaula Bassmaster Elite. I think his third stop of the Bassmaster Elite Series. Five fish here today for Buddy Gross. Nine pounds, two ounces. He moves into 22nd place, so a decent way to start this tournament, Buddy. Yeah, I mean, I'm proud of that. I, I was coming into this thing thinking I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to catch one fish, but I wound up catching the limit and uh, caught a few extras. I think we got some more left, so uh, get after it tomorrow. Thank you. Get it done. We'll see you back here tomorrow. From one Elite Series champion to another from Alabama, Bill Weidler. Took his Elite Series win up on Lake St. Clair last year. And five fish here today. Six pounds, six ounces. Puts him in 58th place. And uh, got a limit, but just outside the top 50. So uh, another shot at him again tomorrow. Bro. Yeah, Bill. Crazy enough, you know, this. I think this place is going to fish a little small because boats are just stacked on top of everybody. And I was in the last flight, so I made a decision to go somewhere else and go to my better area last. 
Maybe I can get something tomorrow because I promise you I'm in the first flight. I will be there first. Look forward to seeing how it works out. Early flight tomorrow, so hopefully it works out a little better for them. Let's bring out a Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Open winner and a classic qualifier from Manny, Louisiana, Daryl Gleason. Four fish for Daryl here today. Four fish here on day number one. Six pounds, seven ounces, puts him in 58th place. Way more than I thought I had, Dave. I'm not used to judging these little bass. On the upper Sabine, you know, Toledo Bend, or even the upper Netches, Sam Rayburn, we don't have to measure those little 12 inches. So <laughs> I understand why all these people, a lot of familiar faces down here in Orange, Texas. I get why you all go north. This is a challenging fishery, and, and we're all having to earn it this week. So looking forward to getting out there tomorrow and try to uh, make a little rally and uh, see if we can uh, make that third day. Keep it rolling. Love to see you there all the way through to Sunday, hopefully. Let's bring out a Bass Fishing Hall of Fame member, the 1993 Bassmaster Classic Champion, David Fritz. David Fritz with three fish here today. Three pounds, three ounces, and he moves into 986th place right now. So <laughs> another shot to him again tomorrow, David, but uh, great to see you as always. Well, it, it's good to be here, good to be alive. <laughs> you know, fishing fishing's tough, and uh, but it's tough for everybody. You just got to get out there and knock around, and I had the bites today to actually have an okay stringer, but... Uh, uh, you know, if the water's a little bit clearer, last time I was here, they was biting my crankbait real good, and now I, with the water so dirty, it's sort of hard to get them to bite it, but who knows, maybe tomorrow. Get another shot, and we wish you luck and see you back here tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our day number one weigh-in. Let's have a look at our top ten. You're a leader, the first angler to weigh in here on day number one, Brock Mosley with 15 pounds, 10 ounces. Right behind him, Jason Christie with 15-1, followed by Caleb Kufal in third, Lee Livesey in fourth, Mark Frazier, Brandon Cobb, KJ Queen, Matt Robertson, Hank Cherry, and Tyler Ravette in a two-way tie to round out our top ten. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just day number one. A four-day tournament will conclude on Championship Sunday. You can follow the action all day long on Bassmaster.com and the Fox Sports app. And we'll see you tomorrow.